Hello, my name is Dave Thompson. I'm the Director of Counselling at Destiny. I want to convey a message today about the lost art of listening and responding and building good relationships. Now what I want to speak about is how we can rebuild, rethink about how we become better listeners and better responders so that we can build more meaningful, more, more helpful relationships. Listening is important because it conveys a message of worth and value to the person that you're speaking to or speaking with or listening to. It also conveys that we're interested on what they're saying, but not just what they're saying, but the underlying message of what they are saying, maybe what they're feeling and maybe understanding a bit more of the context in which they are saying it. You know, you don't need a degree to be a good listener, but many of us lost the art of really listening when listening when we were young, perhaps from teachers or parents said, you need to listen to this. And so listening has maybe got a kind of negative connotation. And I want you to rediscover the art of listening and responding in a real art form. And the more you practice it, the better you become at it. So there's some distractions to listening. So the first major distraction is the fact that we think a lot quicker than we talk. And so someone's having a conversation with us and we're thinking, this is the response I want to make to what they are saying. And we're too quick to get in with our wonderful words of wisdom or advice. And so perhaps we need to learn how to respond or to listen just a bit more deeply. The other distraction to listening or other distractions might be the environment in which we're trying to listen. Don't try and have a deep, meaningful conversation when you're out at a club or you're in the pub and there's loud music. We can still have deep conversations even sometimes if we're in a crowded room as long as it's not too loud. But one of the distractions may be that we're listening to a conversation over here because that we've picked up something that's really interesting instead of truly being with uh, the person that is speaking to us right now. A major distraction in this modern world are mobile devices. Phones going off at the wrong time. Even you've done the good thing. You've been very good and you've put them on silent, but then they vibrate. You've got them on a table when you're sitting at dinner. Just when you're having a conversation, turn the thing off. Um, and I've made the same mistake myself. I've had the thing vibrating away and saying to someone, I'm just ignoring that. In fact, if I didn't have it on, I could really show that I was ignoring it. And nobody's that important. Nobody's wanting to get a hold of us that quickly. And if they do, we're going to be finished the conversation soon. We're not going to be speaking all night. So the other, another distraction is their own personal issues. So somebody speaking to us, it's triggered some of the stuff that's going on for us. And... We're thinking, you think that's a problem? You want to know what's going on in my life? My life's far worse than yours. And so that can be a distraction, become disinterested in what that person has got to say. And of course, the person that you're listening is important or what they're conveying. So they might be conveying something you feel particularly uncomfortable with. So for example, someone might be boring or they're gossiping and we don't want any of that or they're self-obsessed. The only thing that they ever speak about is me, 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 me. Now, we want people to speak a bit about themselves. But if that's all they can do, uh, then that kind of puts us off, doesn't it? And then, of course, there are the cynics of the mourners of this world. Do you know what a cynic is? A cynic for me is a person who has given up but hasn't yet learned to shut up. But even with them, we can start to build good meaningful relationships if we're skilled at responding and listening. So some tips on being a good listener. First of all, imagine what it's like to be that person. What's the person trying to say to me? What are they trying to get, convey? What are they trying to communicate? Listen to the tone, the, the words, the feelings behind what they're saying. And ask yourself, what's it like to be that person, what's going on for them? 
keep eye contact. So eye, con eye contact's really good. You don't want to be staring into somebody's eyes, but keeping good eye contact is important. And having a kind of open posture. Don't be standing like that. You know, what does that convey? It conveys I'm not interested and I've got far too many barriers up. And you could lean slightly forward, lean into the person. Now, I don't mean lean right in, but just lean gently. It conveys I'm interested and that I'm here for you. And try as much as you can to be relaxed. One of the big distractions when you listen to somebody is to watch them. You know, if you're speaking and somebody's fidgeting or scratching or playing with something, so try as much as you can just to breathe and relax. And you could other, another way of communicating that you're listening is with nods and mmms. And don't be too obvious with this, and it looks kind of real plastic and fake, but the occasional nod or mm, ah, is very, very, uh, it communicates again that you're interested in what the person has got to say. And even if you're not, sometimes just being interested in the human being in front of you is very, very important. 